Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as I mentioned in my previous haul, it is getting pretty damn chilly here in England. The weather has plummeted and unless you're pretty mad, you do not leave the house without some form of coat or jacket. And I'm just a bit fed up of my ones from last year. They just look a bit tired. I just needed a little bit of a revamp and I needed some new purchases. So I've done this video for two reasons. Firstly, to like revamp my own wardrobe and find a few nice staple coats and jackets that are well needed. And secondly, to try and inspire some of you guys and show you what is out there at the moment that I'm personally loving and so hopefully you guys will too. I scoured the high street and the internet looking for some amazing coats and jackets and I feel like I've done pretty well. I have found some beautiful pieces. So hopefully you guys will agree. Like I also mentioned before, I might have got a little bit carried away. I found so many that I liked. That I found it so hard to like narrow it down. And I was like, well, you need that type and you need that type. And I need to put this type in the video. And I kind of got so into the mind frame of like including every type of coat or jacket that I basically overordered, and so that is why I split the video into coats and jackets. And also, in the process of doing that, I've managed to order so many coats and jackets that I love, and now I've got to try and narrow it down to what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to send back. But hopefully there will be something in here for everyone, and you guys will love what I found. Okay, so I'm going to start off a trend that has been really, really popular for the past few years, and each winter I've like considered buying one, and then either the one I wanted has been out of stock or I just haven't got one or for some reason I haven't actually invested in one yet. But I ordered this one from Zara because I feel like Zara do the classic black aviator jacket and they do it really really well. Every high street store at the moment has got some sort of take on the aviator jacket and there are some gorgeous ones out there. I chose this one from Zara simply because I saw this one in Zara a couple of years ago and they didn't have my size and I loved it and I really really wanted it that year and I think they sold out everywhere, it was so so popular. So I thought I'd order this one because I think it's the same as the one they had in store a couple of years ago and it's just a beautiful, classic, really really good quality aviator. It's slightly oversized, I've got this one in a size extra small and I think yeah it comes up a little bit big. I love the fact that you can have it like high up and have like the collar done up and it looks completely different. I've seen some beautiful ones in River Island, I've actually got an amazing one, um, Misguided. I will link some of my favourite ones below, but I feel like there's some gorgeous ones everywhere. But I had to order this one from Zara simply because I feel like Zara have got it pretty spot on when it comes to the aviator jacket. By the way, I just want to apologise if my lighting keeps changing, it is like the darkest, greyest day outside today. And although I've got my ring light on, it just seems to be still like going really, really bright and then really, really dark, so apologies for that. So if you love the aviator look, but you don't really want a black coat, or you just want something a little bit different, then I have found this beautiful one from New Look. Um, I actually got it from ASOS, so like New Look at ASOS. But I think it is such a gorgeous colour. It is this like beigey, taupey sort of nudie coloured. Almost like a hint of gold to it. It's got like the buckles at the bottom, the big zippers. It is also fur lined throughout, so it's also got the fur going all the way down the sleeves as well, because I don't know about you, but for me that's very important. I hate it when you get a jacket and it's like fur lined, but then your arms haven't got fur in it, and you're like, my arms get cold too, you know. Again, it comes up slightly larger. I got this one in a size six as well, and again, I'd say it sort of feels more like a size eight, so I quite like the fact that it's oversized because it means you can layer up underneath it, but if you'd rather it be a bit more fitted, then size down. And because the aviator jacket has been around for a good few years now and keeps coming back every winter, I feel like it's not going to go out of style for a good few years. So if you do decide to invest in one of these pieces, then at least then you know you can probably wear it for the next few winters without it going out of style. So I feel like winter 2017 is the season of the teddy bear coat. It was everywhere during fashion week and now I've seen it everywhere on the high streets and I love it. There are so many beautiful teddy coats around and what's not to love? It's warm, it's cosy, you feel like you're in your dressing gown and yet they look really really stylish too. Don't get me wrong, I don't know if they'll still be just as popular next year or the year after but at the moment they are everywhere. And I feel like they're also selling out so, so quickly as well. Every time I found one I'd love, I'd put it in my basket, like if I was shopping online, I'd pop it in my basket and then I'd sort of be looking elsewhere to see if I found something I liked more. And then when I'd go back to order it, it would literally be gone. And that happened so many times. There was one at Warehouse I loved. There was one at Misguided I really liked. I will link them below if they're back in stock. 
but there were, every time I loved one, it would grow out of stock. So when I found this one at ASOS, I literally added it to my basket and ordered it straight away because I was like, right, I'm not letting this one go. And I feel like this one is like a really, really great take on the Max Mara coat that have the like classic teddy bear coat, which I think is about 1,700 and it's beautiful. But if you don't want to spend that much money, then this one from ASOS is gorgeous. It has got the huge pockets that I absolutely love. It's got these big buttons and it is in this beautiful brownie tan colour that I feel like the teddy bear coat works perfectly in because it's the colour of a teddy bear really. It is so so cosy and warm but actually it's not really even that heavy, it's still quite lightweight but so cosy. I feel like this one is like the perfect length, I'm five foot six and it just feels like a really really flattering length and don't get me wrong it's really really oversized, I ordered this in a size six and I kind of wish I'd gone for the four because it is massive but I feel like that's kind of the, the look of the teddy coat as well. It's supposed to be a bit oversized. But if you do love this one, then I would say get onto ASOS as soon as possible because I reckon this one will be gone very soon, if not already. So I feel like one teddy coat just wasn't quite enough for this haul. And the next one I was very, very kindly gifted by a brand called NAKD. And this is the coat. And I adore it. I absolutely love the colour of this one. I mean, it's very different to the other one. Like, the other one was more like a flat, sort of faux shearling look, whereas this is more like a like a curly, fluffy teddy bear coat. Uh, but I love both of them. This one is such a beautiful, like, dusky pink colour. It's so, so flattering on the skin tone. As soon as it arrived and I put it on, I was like, oh, I look like... I look like I'm alive. <laughs> if you're a little bit shorter, but you still want to do the teddy bear coat trend, but without it being like past the knees, this is such a great length for, for any height, really. It's so, so cosy and soft. I feel like it's the sort of coat you could put on with jeans and a plain top, and it would just really make the outfit look special. It's just such a beautiful colour. I love the fact that this is a little bit different and something that I haven't actually seen elsewhere on the high street. And it's sort of a cross between like the teddy coat and like a faux fur coat. I feel like it's just in between. So another trend that's all over the high street at the moment is faux fur. And I love faux fur. There are some beautiful faux fur coats about. I included one in my jackets haul from New Look that I adore. And this one that I'm about to show you is completely different to that one. But again, I absolutely love it. It is the softest coat I have ever felt in my life. And it is this beautiful one from Miss Pap. It is in this gorgeous pale pink colour. It is so soft and so, so cosy. It is literally the warmest, snuggliest coat of the lot. I featured this in my Miss Pap haul, which I will link below if it's been released yet, or if not, it will be coming soon. But yeah, absolutely love this coat. Softest coat ever. So if you're loving the faux fur trend but you just don't really fancy wearing a huge faux fur Cruella de Vil style coat, if that's just not your style, then these next two coats might be a little bit more up your street. This first one is from River Island and it is this beautiful grey wool coat with the big fluffy faux fur collar. So you're still sort of channeling the faux fur trend but just around your neck so it's not like too OTT. I actually ordered this one from ASOS but they've also got it in River Island as well. I just loved the purpley grey colour of it and I just thought it was such a beautiful smart jacket. I also love the fact that the fur is removable so if you want to wear the jacket in a different way and keep it a bit more smarter, it looks completely different with the fur off and you can style it completely differently as well. I actually ordered this one in a size 4 because I wanted it to be quite fitted and snug and I feel like it fits perfectly. But yeah, absolutely loving that one. I think it's a really beautiful smart stylish coat. Okay, this next jacket is pretty similar in the fact that it's got the big faux fur collar. However, this one is in this gorgeous, browny, sort of goldy colour. And it is so, so soft. It is definitely faux fur. And this is definitely the sort of coat you need to see on because it's so, so long. But it is this beautiful, double-breasted, um, browny, sort of checked coat. Again, it's not normally my normal style, but when I saw it on the website, I just loved it. I just thought it looked so, so cool. And this one was also from NAKD and was also gifted to me as well. I think I'll wear this one undone. I prefer the look of it undone. I think because it's so long, it looks a bit more flattering when it's undone rather than with the double-breasted buttons done up. But I just absolutely love the colour of it. I think it's such a beautiful colour. I love the checks and I love that it's a completely different style that you won't see on anyone else on the high street. So This next coat is from H&M and I actually picked this up while I was shopping a couple of weeks ago and I just saw it in store and loved it. 
and I tried it on I just felt like it was the perfect fit and it just felt gorgeous on again it's this dog tooth um, is it dog's tooth or hound's tooth someone's tooth it's this toothy trend <laughs> It's super super lightweight, it's like quite thin material so don't expect like a warm coat if you order this because this definitely isn't a winter coat but it's just like a really really lightweight coat and I feel like it looks really really smart if I was wearing it with like black jeans or leather trousers and like a blouse it would just really really smarten the outfit up and it's the sort of coat you could wear to meetings and then out for dinner, it's kind of like evening but daytime as well and yeah I just think that's a really really beautiful jacket and I feel like this print is like really on trend at the moment I keep seeing like this style coat and jacket everywhere and I love it and then this final jacket I just had to include because it's nearly Christmas and during the month of December what's more Christmassy than a bright red coat and I just saw this one on ASOS it's also from River Island at ASOS and just thought it was so so beautiful and so so Christmassy and I just absolutely fell in love with it online I adore the bright red colour of it I just think I don't know it just you just look at it and you think Christmas don't you well I do anyway a red coat I just feel like it makes me want to go Christmas shopping you know and put on like a little woolly hat and some bright red lipstick that's what I want to do with this coat but yeah I just fell in love with the colour of it fell in love with the shape of it as well, it's just such a beautiful flattering shape on it's just so so cool and so statementy. it's just the sort of thing you put on and it just makes you look so dressed up and special I don't know, I just fell in love with it and I had to order it I ordered this one in a size 6 and I love the way it fits, I feel like it fits perfectly there's plenty of room to like layer up underneath and I just think it would look gorgeous with like polar necks and heels and jeans during the during December and January, just that beautiful Christmassy coat. So that is all of my coats from my coat haul. Like I said before, I did get carried away and I definitely won't be keeping all of them. Nobody needs that many coats, not even me, and I do get very, very cold. I think I've got a little bit of a tricky decision in front of me. I don't know which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm not going to keep because I love so many of them. So do leave a comment below and let me know which one your favourite was. Hopefully I've given you guys a little bit of inspiration and I'm thinking of filming like a lookbook to show you how I'd style some of these coats. So let me know if that's the sort of thing you'd like to see and I will get that filmed. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching and for your continued support and hopefully see you again in my next video. Bye! I just wanna look into your eyes.